Welcome back to North Country Trains. We are in the basement today, finally making some progress on my HO scale Champlain Division layout. We are currently working on the Y. I built the benchwork for this a while ago. I believe I did a video on it. I can't really remember. It's honestly been quite a while. But today we are wiring the Y. And if you aren't aware, Ys and loops on model railroads require some special wiring. So I'm going to be going over how that is done and also how I wire my layout in general. So stay tuned. So popping below the layout, the lighting over here is not great, as you can tell, but um, I hope you can tell that I have two bus wires um, going to both ends of the Y from my command station. Um, I ha I didn't used to do bus wires, honestly. I would kind of just go along as I go, but bus wires are really the best way to add um, feeders anywhere you need them, um, and they're relatively easy and inexpensive to do, so I recommend doing so. Um, but today we're going to be kind of tapping off um, this bus over here um, to wire this leg of the Y is going to be the one that I'm using to do the reversing because the main line, the continuous running connection, um, is this one right here. So I'd prefer to keep that smooth so that once my layout's a loop, I can just keep things running through. And this connection is pretty much just to Y trains. Uh, eventually the staging yard will continue a little farther so that I can actually, you know, fit more than just an engine down there. Um, but really the most important thing pre-wiring while you're still doing your track work is making sure at least one leg is insulated. So I have insulating rail joiners here. And then down here at the switch, I have insulating rail joiners there. That track does not look great, but it'll work for now. Uh, I may come back and uh, smooth out some of this track. Um, and yeah, so get that insulated and then uh, get all this wired, the other two legs wired to the same you know, polarity the same direction. And uh, then we'll be focusing on wiring up our reversing section. So you can uh, wire a reversing section using auto reversers, especially in DCC, you can use auto reversers um, manufactured by most uh, system manufacturers, you know, Digitrax, NCE, etc. But in my case, I want to be able to shut this track off and I want to do it cheaply. So here's a uh, double pull, double throw, toggle switch. It's a uh, on, off, on. So there's three selections. And uh, I got this for about a buck on eBay, along with some others, obviously. Um, so I'll be using this to wire. Um, once I get it installed in the wood here, I will uh, show you what I'm gonna do to wire that. All right, so I got my switch wired up, and obviously not permanently, because I'm just demonstrating this. But uh, so on one side of your double pull, double throw switch, you're gonna want uh, two feeders going to your bus. On the other side, you also want two feeders going to your bus, but these are actually going to be reversed. Um, so this side would be like positive, negative, this side would be negative, positive. And then in the middle, you just have your two feeders going up to your reversing section. Um, and so when you throw the switch, it will uh, reverse the polarity and uh, may cut out briefly as far as, you know, DCC. But if you do it fast enough, it shouldn't. Um, but I, I need the, the off um, so I can isolate trains because I need somewhere to do that. Otherwise, uh, my PA and my other uh, non-sound engines are just going to uh, burn out their headlights. But um, this is how you want to wire it up. We'll get this installed and see how it works. All right, so I got the Y soldered. Not very well, but it is soldered. So we should be good to test. So I got a train down here, a local from Plattsburgh. They're going to pull in, run around their cut, uh, and wire their power. And actually, you can run around your power. You can run around your train and wire your power in the same move. Like, as you can see, the runaround track here is actually blocked right now by something on a staging track. So I'm gonna demonstrate um, what you might do if you're running around your train while wiring your power, uh, simulating, you know, a local at the end of a branch line. Obviously, you're gonna wanna switch cars as well, you know, to simulate um, different cars coming back, but uh, let's give this a try.
I'll throw my switch, but before I do, I gotta make sure my Y is set for the right direction. Otherwise, we'll get a short. So once my train's completely within the Y section, flick that and we're all good to come off the other end.